That, that's the first, that's the main thing to remember about these visits, is it's not inspectoral, it's consultative. Um, uh, we would like I, um, the moderator to come in and see six to eight students working, no more. Um, six is, is absolutely fine. Eight would be the maximum. Be interested in, for, for, for your thoughts on what, what I'm going to show you in a moment. There are five students working, and I think, from my point of view, certainly, and I, I'd, I'd be interested to know what you say, um, five is too many for the particular task. Um, too many, five is an awkward, an, depending on the task, uh, and, and how well it's been structured, and how well students have been briefed, but, you know, the, the, you've got to be, be aware of the possibility of students being marginalised within, within an activity, and I think that's what happens on what we've seen in a moment. Anyway, ideally... Um, across the uh, the three aspects of speaking and listening, um, communicating and adapting language, the individual uh, interacting and responding, the group work, uh, and creating and sustaining roles. Um, so, and then you you decide on the on the content of that. Uh, the moderator will sit with you and assess it, decide on what marks were to be allocated, and so on. Um, in the past, it's also been the time when we look at, at uh, ask to see the records, speaking of listening records, that's changing now because we've moved that bit further down the line. Um, so you will need to forward a sample now of your speaking and listening records, a sample, top, middle and bottom, uh, to your moderator by the 5th of May. Um, if you, if, you, if you want to see uh, an, an, an example of a record sheet, um, it, if you look at pages 31 and 32 of the English spec, or pages 39 and 40 of the English language spec, you'll see a suggested model. Uh, it's, not, it's not absolutely, that's not prescriptive. If you've got a working model for keeping records, that's fine by us. But if you want to see a, a, a model, then that, that's, that's available there. So, uh, when you when you get that, uh, when, you've, when you've sent those off, you'll get a brief report uh, on, the, uh, on what the moderators found in terms of your record keeping, and that will be uh, in the form of, a, as I say, in, in the form that you'll see at the back of one of these sheets. Oh, there we are. It's on the back of the yellow book. That, that, that's, what, that's the book that we're going to be referring to in a moment. On the back of that, you've got the um, a report. The, the kind of report. It's going to be light touch, um, again, not heavy duty. So uh, that's what you'll get as a response to your submission of the records. Um, <coughs> now, you've got, you've, I mean, you've got two dates to think about here. Uh, and I'll explain the reason why we're stuck with this for the moment. While you, we're not asking you to send your, um, your sample of your, re, of your records in till May the 5th, and indeed, that's in, in the past, that's when we've allowed the submission of marks with speaking and listening to be later than the submission of coursework marks. For, with the English Language Unit 4, it's an, it, we, we, we've got a, a curious hybrid. If, 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 as, as this is clear, we've got both spoken assessment, oral assessment, and written assessment locked into the same unit. Now, there is no moderate, there is no um, individual moderation of assessment for speaking and listening, but there will be for the spoken language studies. They will go off to the same moderators who will moderate your, your other cultural assessments. 